Hey everybody, I am out front of our house and I'm doing a little bit of early trimming work here. We normally wait for everything to go dormant, but we have had some of the staghorn sumac come into the driveway a bit. So I'm doing a little bit of trimming right now and I thought I would show you a couple quick things. So this is staghorn sumac spectacular native plant the birds love those berries you can eat them people make lemonade from them all kinds of caterpillars use the foliage hermit thrushes are associated with the undergrowth in the area so pretty cool plant to have and they spread by rhizomes so a lot of people are not fans of rhizomes and a lot of the plants that we have here have rhizomes and we just use them to our advantage. So there's a lot of land here that was just mowed lawn and it's 3.5 acres and we can't tend 3.5 acres. We have learned that. We need mother nature to do it. That's what she does best. And so the rhizomes on this staghorn sumac give us a ton of new shoots every year and we let them grow for a really long time to get a ton of material. And then we let the leaves drop and cut them back or like this year, cut them back a little early and then I'm cutting them up into even smaller pieces and then I'll put them just directly on the ground in here that's what I'm doing and this area used to be grass and so it needs a lot of restoration work in terms of just forest floor type materials but thankfully the grass held all the soil in place so it didn't erode like it does in some areas where the soil's not covered up. So we don't cut all the sumac back. We definitely let a fair bit grow every year because we want it to be part of our screen out here. And that's what this huge mighty log is. Can you even believe it? Uh, but we do cut some of it back. And so use it to your advantage. If you have sumac or you're scared to plant it, just think about it in terms of giving you a ton of organic matter that you can use. People talk about that with comfrey all the time. and. Um, that's a European plant. I'm not talking about the native comfries and how it gives you all this organic matter to use. But there's a ton of natives that do that as well. So consider that in your future plantings. And I can't find them right now, but when I was cutting back in here, right down here on the ground, it was a giant leopard moth caterpillar. So that's one reason I'm super careful <laughs> this time of year. A lot of insects like to overwinter in here and toads and uh, they're not very far down right now. So there you go, a couple of pointers, hope it helps. And don't be scared because it's worth it.